So just a quick overview of what I believe in 2023, this year, what I believe next year will be like. I'm assuming from that poll to probably four polls in, maybe six or five, there will be fencing with no entrance this way. There will also be a gate. One of those gates will be in the front for sure. There's still a lot of work we need to do, like putting wire there and stuff like that. But for the back, I'm thinking I want something like this where I can take chains and chain them here. So if I need to make it bigger, I can just move it, unchain it and move it backwards. And even just if, we, I, if I fit in two poles, I could probably have 10 more sheep with that or a whole donkey. And this is not where they live. They live out there and beyond, like down that trail. Uh, but they're, they're just here at nighttime and especially in harsh weather, like if there's a thunderstorm or anything like that. And the good news about that is this whole Iowa, this whole bay is what we call it, will be my home. And then hopefully the second floor and then this over here will be my home. And then this is for all the tractors, all, all of that, plus that, and a couple other stuff. Uh, and so with that said, let's go here. So right here, probably about right here, will be that fence. And it'll be chained up so I can enter this way. And the only way the animals can exit and enter is this field. This is cute, but it's broken right now. Uh, there's my Lord's camper, and here's the view. And that way, I need to move that. I was trying to use that as a trash fire, but it's not a good place for it. Uh, and the lambs, I mean the sheep, will have all down here to eat. This is probably about three fourths of an acre. Oh, see, like that's not cut at all. This is, needs to be cut, but still. All over here. Uh, and then, once I get, so this winter I'm gonna build a fence. Uh, and that's my winter task. The summer task is um, making that a land, uh, uh, what are they called? Staple. So, all of this can be eaten up by the land or sheep. We'll walk all the way down here, and I'll show you what in the next in 2025 what I hope will be available for the sheep. Here's some stamp. So we all walk down here, and I think you'd notice the sheep probably maybe right there, but most of this will just naturally guide them. And I'll have a Amish shepherd's crook, and I'll hopefully have a dog by 2020, another dog by 2025. I'm hoping for an old English sheep dog a rescue. <sighs> and that, that uh, fence has to be made in the late fall or winter because the tree leaves are all falling down and it's a lot cooler because I'm already sweaty. I sweat very easily. So like that will be dangerous right there. I can probably put a fence up right here just from there to there. This is where the cave is too. So this is several acres. And just imagine that one Basically one acre, three-fourths acre, will last two sheep a whole year. And then once they eat that up, the next year I'll move them here. And this, it'll be nearly impossible for them to, for two sheep to finish all this. And by that time, the following year, they can eat. You want to skip a year. But uh, I do hope to eventually get all of this, all of this fenced off, all down here. 
all down there and over and over so that I could uh, basically leave them here because I would also want to fence off maybe up around there and then down and over but where Sim Sam's at is where the cave is I'm not going today because I wanted to try out some more but here's the spooky scary cave that everyone loves it's really called the Immaculate Heart Grotto but I like scary so if you want to see real scary I'm pretty sure that's poison ivy but see all of that behind there not this that's a, there's something behind it and down there uh, the sheep would love I could probably have I'm just I'm not good at this but maybe 10 sheep for sure like, look how big my dog is he's a big dog compared to all this let's try to get him to run <sighs> see all of this would be a perfect paradise for sheep that were destined for slaughter because I don't want to slaughter any of my sheep I don't want to birth any either I want them all all the males have to be neutered I guess the females do too I don't know but that's how big my dog is my a sheep is probably an adult sheep is probably the size of my dog except an adult sheep doesn't yearn over here come on Oh my, ugh, he does that, I think, intentionally. You're dangerous. You're so shiny out here. You're so shiny out here. Go on. Can you even see him? Yeah. That's the size of a... Like his back is the size of... His head's taller than a sheep. So it's a large field. I'm not sure how many acres. When I asked my dad how many acres is the other field, he was like, well, an acre is... I'm not even... I don't even know the numbers. I'm like, an acre is like 800 feet by 200 feet. And I'm like, ah! If anything, I can measure in meters. I mean, yards. But it was not helpful. I'd rather just use Google to figure it out. He's an engineer though, so he talks that language. And so this will eventually be the field of all the sheep. Uh, but the beginning field will be over there. And here is Lacey's grave. And that's it.